Hello everyone. In this video we will make each of the doors we made previously interactive with a key input. So if you want to know how we made the doors, I will link them down below. Double click to open this door's blueprint. First of all, let's break these links. We need a cast function. My game uses a first person character, so I will be casting to that. This is also called Blueprint Communication. Link this here to reference the player. Copy paste the cast function to use it for the reverse case. Now we need the enable input function to read the key input. We also need the disable input function to reverse the action. In order for these functions to read the key input, we need the get player controller function. Link it to the player controller input. Now get a key of your choice. I will use the E key for this example. Link it to the timeline to start the animation and link this function to the reverse input. This is pretty much it. Now let's copy everything we've done and use it for the other doors. If you don't want the door to close, you can delete the end overlap part of the logic. To change how far the doors open, you can edit the timeline. I will place all the doors in the scene to demonstrate what we've done. As you can see, the door doesn't open on its own until I press E. And as soon as I leave the collision area, it closes itself. The doors seem to work as expected. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.